I'm Sarah Roberts. I'm here at my studio in Barkston House in Leeds and I'm part of the YSI Sculpture Network 2022. I said like my practice is all based around like the collection of surfaces and response to them from architecture, landscape and the body. But just like more recently, I think it started with a work called Everything's Mustard that I did in 2019 at Picnic Gallery. I started to unpick kind of why I'm doing that really and it's a work that it's a lot more uh, personal because it was about the clearing out of my mother's bungalow in Wales and it's called Everything's Mustard which alludes to this idea of everything's okay and like this weird thing that we do in like building these worlds around ourselves to like put on a forward fronting thing of everything's okay but also about like this amazing light that bathed over everything when I was clearing out especially in the early mornings which I did a lot because my sister's a bit of a super hoarder so if I could get some clearing done before she got there it was like the easy time to do it. This is a work called Blue Promise um, and it's uh, from a 1990s boyfriend's bedroom um, and I think it's really funny in the 90s everybody else seemed to have all of these like coordinated rooms and then everyone was getting all of these coordinated bed sets from the Grattan catalogue and this is like what I can really remember from like these formative experiences where I was outside my own domestic realm and feeling like, you know, this is like a coming of age experience, which sat really neatly alongside this sort of strange thing that I had in my own domestic interior, where my, like my dad was sick and I was helping to care for him and my sister had been ill as well. She's like a, a diabetic and she'd just been diagnosed. And then later on she had some other things. So there was a lot of NHS paraphernalia that sort of worked its way into our house. And at the same time, my mum like kind of backpedaling, trying to create a normal environment. But we were also quite poor, so the whole thing was this hodgepodge of like an attempt at domestic interiors that had a lot of like moving parts, like yeah, weird things that would come from the NHS that my mum was like trying to pretty up almost. That made me really look at other spaces as well, like when we were in hospitals, you could really see there the disjuncture between like hospital space and their attempts at making something homely, which in fact makes it more of an alien space because you've got like these two clashing spaces that highlight each other and the fact that they're neither of them somehow. Um, so yeah, it sort of increases your distrust in spaces and shows the like the madeness of those spaces. And I think that's the root of the practice, it's making you look at the lines around things, the constructedness of things, like the power of those visually driven connections between things. These more personal works have been really useful in starting to unpick the practice and why it is that I'm so obsessed with aesthetics and surfaces and interiors and yeah, and why I'm doing these colour wash experiences. And it's funny because since making this work, which I think is the most honest so far, um, I started to make things not all in one colour again. I think it's got that sense of like looking down on something. Like, you know when you're a kid and you find things? Because mm. like this work was making me really think about being younger. And then I was obsessed with like, when I first started work, I was 12. There was a guy called Brian who worked there and he used to always have this huge jailer's thing, like full of keys. And I always used to be like, what are all the keys for, Brian? Like, I, don't, I think it was almost like this power thing of having all these keys. So then I, I got some of these jailer's locks and I think they're really weird. Like they make other things look like a lot more fragile, but also can make them look a bit more like powerful somehow all at the same time. And then I thought about this as like a tongue piercing almost. Crab sticks, teeth maybe. I mean, they're abject things. I think it's funny sometimes when I look at who would have been my contemporaries, like had I studied art when I was young, it's like this real material interest and like aesthetics and materiality are like a big deal. And then you're just like, oh God, I'm now, I'm like a material artist, like in a post internet aesthetic kind of world. And it's like, sometimes I feel like I don't fit, but then also have a massive amount of guilt because I've got this consumptive practice that talks about consumption, but also is using consumption. And you're just like, I'm also a hoarder, aren't I? I think it's apparent. It, for me, it comes out in the practice and in my, excessive amount of jackets that I seem to own.